Hi there. Uh, okay, in this vlog, I'm going to talk about oral language and how it is important for students. In the research I've done, I've found a lot about how evidence-based oral language supports comprehension. There are four main ways in which oral language supports writing and reading. Number one, oral language develops vocabulary concepts. Children gain information about word meanings and pronunciations and these concepts are first introduced in speaking and understanding others' speech. Number two, children learn through oral language the structure of language and that it communicates meaning. When children can articulate their words through and thoughts clearly, they have an advantage in learning to read over those children who have poor oral language skills. For example, if a child knows that a dog is called a dog early on, it will know the characteristics of a dog. It's soft. It can be cuddly. It can be even dangerous sometimes if it's not correctly, you know, bred or whatever. So number three, oral language teaches children cultural nuances giving them specific background knowledge that aids in reading comprehension. So an American or a, a, a child from England are going to be different because of, the, of their different um, cultural nuances. And number four, tends to desire, it, it builds a desire to use language for a variety of purposes, such as reading, writing, and listening. Those are three very important things that a student needs to know as they go on through school. How to read, how to write, how to listen, and be able to articulate something that they have heard onto either paper or into a speech of some sort. Next, writing enhances the development of oral language. Writing is a process of thinking, of thinking through what we're saying before we say it. This means kids get better at expressing themselves verbally, as well as understanding others' communication. In my classes that I teach in high school, I have noticed that since the beginning of the year, my students have increased their communication skills and their language skills based on me having them write essays every week. My students know every week, every Friday, usually, um, that they're going to have to write something. Paragraph, um, something they're going to have to write. Okay. Finally, I feel that it's vitally important to use technology. In my school, each student has an iPad of their own that they can use throughout the year. It's theirs. They don't have to share it with anyone. They take it home. It's their person. It's like their personal one. Right now in my classes, we're working on a large essay project. The essay requires students to find a problem that is global in nature and find a solution to that problem. Okay, it's a seventeen hundred and fifty to two thousand word essay. So for college graduates like myself and y'all it's not that difficult of a thing but for a high school student who's never been exposed to such a large project it's difficult so I've been scaffolding it using doing different parts you know as we go on an introduction a thesis statement um, you know topic evaluation and eventually uh, you know their conclusions their uh, their bibliographies all that stuff that goes into writing. Um, this would be very hard to do without technology. Without them able to look on the internet for different um, different issues that are global. Um, doing it, you know, back when I was in high school, which seems forever ago, um, doing it in a library would take a long, 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 long time. It takes a long time now. I've had them do it since probably the beginning of October or so. So it's a long process now. I can just imagine having to look through encyclopedias and books and 
you know, things wouldn't be as current as they are now. You know, they'd have to watch the news, and uh, that would be very difficult. Um, so use of technology, very important in getting students to be able to communicate better is what the gist of that is. All right, thanks.